During two of this week's White House briefings, President Trump said that two potential treatments, that's chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine, which are anti-malarial drugs also used for lupus and rheumatoid arthritis, these two drugs have been approved by the FDA for the treatment against global coronavirus pandemic. But it's important to note upfront that regardless of what you may have heard from Trump or any other sources, no drugs or treatments have been proven as effective for either prevention of contracting COVID-19 or for its treatment. Because FDA Commissioner Stephen Hahn himself said that chloroquine and its derivatives had not yet been approved for the treatment of COVID-19. But they want to test the efficacy of hydroxychloroquine for COVID-19 in the setting of a large pragmatic clinic trials. Some drugs such as favipiravir and remdesivir are under clinical trials. Now that uh, hydroxychloroquine have shown some positive response against COVID-19, I'm going to explain how it does this. Here I have drawn a simple sketch of coronavirus with single-stranded RNA or positive sense single-stranded RNA with spikes on its surface. This virus mainly affects the type 2 pneumocytes of the lungs. These are the cells responsible for the production of surfactant. So when coronavirus attack these cells, production of surfactant is affected and lungs get collapsed and you will see various respiratory symptoms. So how does this coronavirus attack these cells? There is a receptor on the surface of type 2 pneumocytes called angiotensin converting enzyme 2. Coronavirus binds with this receptor and is engulfed inside the cell forming endosome. Some lysosomal cells are gonna fuse with this endosome forming endolysosome. Now the lysosome brings some lysosomal proteases along with it. These lysosomal proteases will activate the surface spikes of the coronavirus and when these spikes get activated they release the single-stranded RNA into the cell. This RNA is going to bind with the nuclear genome and form new virus particles and that's how virus multiplies inside the cell. These viruses will burst out of this cell and infect other cells. The function of hydrochloroquine comes at this stage here. Since hydrochloroquine is a weak base, it will increase the pH inside the endolysosome and blocks the activity of lysosomal proteases. This prevents the release of viral RNA into the cell and thus the virus cannot show its effect. 